but you come down the home stretch here, first and foremost, how's the health of the team? You know, you got just a few weekends left in the regular season. <laughs> it's funny you ask. I mean, I think we're battling what everyone else is uh, throughout the league, and from what I've read, you know, from opposing coaches about, you know, the flus and the sickness, as far as uh, injury wise, you know, knock on wood here, we're, you know, I'm not going to say we're 100%, but, you know, we're, we're better than we were a few weeks ago. How good was it to get Brett back in the lineup last weekend? As you, you, could, you could see, it was noticeable. The same thing as when we got, uh, you know, Sebastian Vidmar back. It's very noticeable, just uh, like subtle plays, um, on-ice awareness uh, that, that, that lead to offensive chances for us. And, you know, uh, but uh, as good as those guys are offensively, they, they're working just as hard, you know, just defensively. And that's something that kind of resonates through, the, you know, the team. You guys have won five of the last six games. What do you like out of what you guys are doing right now? Uh, just the fact that they're, you know, they're playing hungry. And they're, you know, not sitting on, you know, we, we know we're in a battle. And these guys know that they're in a, uh, you know, fight here for the top four. And, you know, to, to bounce back the way that they did, you know, from the Cornell game, uh, I thought was, it was, you know, really impressive, you know, from our group. And, you know, but again, another weekend awaits. One thing you've talked about throughout the season is not taking for granted playing here at home. Um, you guys have another chance on home um, try to do that. How important is it for you to kind of get those guys to, to, like you said, not overlook how big it is playing, you know, here? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, that's just, you know, reminding them a few times uh, and then kind of making, you know, we're, we're going to talk about a few things about the magnitude of, of where we stand. And, you know, so they know going into this game, we don't make the same mistake that we did going into the Cornell first period. Is it, uh, talk about Jake's performance on Saturday. You know, it's a nice luxury. you got two goal tenders that can give you a quality uh, effort. Is it is it a case with Jake where his stats don't necessarily show the effort he's given to the team this year for his performance? I'd say from both of them. You know, it's, it, was a, it was nice to see Jake you know, get in the net, obviously get the win, but it was nice to protect him a bit. I think we gave up nine scoring chances, and then in the night before we were about 20. So you can, and that's a huge difference. And, you know, we, we didn't really help out Hans too much in that game where two, we really helped out Jake an awful lot. But Jake uh, had some nice saves for us too when we needed him. What jumps out to you when you play this Harvard team, when you, when you watch them, when you watch them on tape? What do you have to kind of deal with? Uh, just overall, you know, defensive. They're tough defensively and they're fast offensively and have some skill that can really get up and down that uh, ice sheet and create problems off the rush and offensively, you know, with uh, within the, you know, the zone. And, and they have D that, you know, there's three of them back there that are <laughs> tremendously skilled. Uh, they're all right shots that can, you know, just create havoc in the offensive zone. So you have to know when those guys are on the ice at all times. And I have to say, you know, it's a solid core back there. And you don't really say that a lot about, teams uh, in general for, for whatever reason uh, but the best teams do have a core that's really strong back there and they do. What can you tell us about Dartmouth? Again, another transition team that can really, um, that likes to feed off your you know turnovers and your mistakes so we have to limit those I thought we really, were, were really lucky up there I thought we really got lucky up there uh, and we came out of the first period with a lead when I don't think by rights we should have uh, it was just, you know, I think the, you know, the puck gods were on our side for that game. Um, and then we settled down and, you know, but uh, I don't feel that that was uh, the score indicated, you know, what it was. Congrats on a nice performance Saturday. And then just talk about your role this year. You know, you and then Darian have kind of been sharing the net. How have you adjusted to that? And uh, secondly, do you feel a little more pressure when you, when you do get the call to get out and play the yeah, I mean, um, obviously, like we've been talking about it all year, me and Darian have kind of just gone back and forth with, with who's in the net and who's out of the net. So um, I think it's been a pretty good competitive uh, relationship between me and him. And uh, I don't feel any more pressure than I would if I knew I was the guy or um, anything like that. I just think we, we're both trying to get in the net and trying to 
trying to get a win for our team. So it's been it's been fun, but um, obviously everyone wants to be the guy. So uh, I'm just trying to work right now to, to do everything that I can to put myself in that position. You guys have won five of your last six games. What are you doing you know, so well lately for the team? I think uh, lately we've been preaching just keep it simple. Um, that's when we play our best hockey. Um, and I think we're finally realizing that if we keep doing that, like good things will happen. And, uh, just kind of stay patient and just kind of just work work for that that next one. And I think that's what we've been doing over the five or past six games. So, is the intensity level picked up now? We're kind of in the home stretch. You guys are trying to get a first round bye. Yeah, I think uh, I think you can see that in our gameplay as well. Um, I think we uh, we kind of see it. Um, obviously, like you said, it's a home stretch, and we kind of see where we are. And um, if we keep playing how we're playing, we're going to set ourselves up for for a good run at the end of it. Um, so I think we kind of see that. We just kind of want to push to to get the best advantage going into the playoffs. Yeah. Do you guys focus on that by a lot and talk about staying one Yeah, I think uh, I think getting the buy is uh, a huge benefit. Obviously, it's a, a week of rest and. Um, a week of extra preparation, so yeah, getting that by would be huge for us. On Friday, Jalen Harvey back here at home. What do they do well as a team? What do you have to kind of prepare for any time you match up with them? Uh, well, um, they've got that kid Donato. That was that's pretty good. Um, I don't think he'll be playing against us this week due to the Olympics, but they also have that really good defenseman back with Fox. Um, they're a fast team, and they're always been competitive, and it's always been since I've been here really. A really big rivalry to try to beat those guys. Um, so I think they're a really fast team um, that, that does all the, the simple things right. So I think we just, like I said, the past six games, you just got to keep it simple going into that game, and I, I think we'll be fine. So we're just talking, Jake, about that, the intensity around the team. You're coming down the home stretch of the regular season. Is it a different kind of mindset around the, the group this week and going forward? Uh, I wouldn't say it, it's different. It's, uh, you know, we've been working on intensity and keeping focus all year and I think we've gotten a lot better on it uh, so in that sense yes but you know uh, it's something we've been working on all year keeping focus and sticking to the details through practice and carrying on to the games. Are you guys, are you guys aware of what's at stake in terms of standings and getting that top four spot? Oh yeah definitely the top four is everything to buy and oh my you know we got it last year and it's, it's a difference maker uh, we definitely know what's at stake, and we, we, I think a lot of us uh, know and preach uh, what it takes to to make it too. So. Coach had talked last week about you guys just keeping it simple, and that is probably going to be uh, the mentality going forward. Do you feel like you guys did a good job this past week just playing the game, keeping things pretty simple? Yeah, especially uh, you know sometimes uh, uh, I think uh, Friday night's game. We, we lost momentum, big parts of the game, and uh, one of the key things is just getting back and getting that momentum is just just that, keeping it simple and uh, making the easy, uh, simple plays and just build up on momentum from that. So that's definitely something we, we always try to come back to. Coach said he was impressed with how the team bounced back from that loss to Cornell. Did you see that kind of in the locker room, just disappointing because you guys were in that game and then the way that you responded the next game? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, you can see how the guys rallied together, and I think that that those first uh, minutes against uh, Colgate, uh, the way we 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 were just a force, and and everyone was chipping in, and uh, the guys really rallied together. So the difference of having Brett back in the lineup last weekend, what, what did he add to, to your overall performance? He's our, he's our best player. He's uh, the way the way he sees the ice and creates opportunity for. For, for the four guys around him, it's it's incredible. I mean, the the offensive uh, capabilities that guy has is uh, is it's something any team wants. So it's great having him back. How big is it going to be for you guys to pick the win here? Uh, four points, hopefully, but especially on Friday against Harvard. Huge! It's a it's a battle into the end, and uh, uh, Harvard coming here, it's a, it's a, uh, it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be, I think, about all 60 minutes against them. Uh, remember last time they uh, kind of stole two points from us, I feel. So that's going to be in the back of our heads, too, going into Friday night's game. What challenges did they pose just being right behind you guys in the standings? Uh, challenge in, in, the, in terms of the... Uh, in terms of on ice, what do they do well? 
Oh, they they individually they're really skilled. I think uh, once we had like keep the four lines rolling and uh, keeping pressure on their D and getting pucks deep and working them down low is something we need to take advantage of and uh, just like we talked about keeping it simple and getting pucks deep.